Alright guys, just a quick video here on how to uh, do ETAS or calculate ETAS using the blue whiz wheel, the E6B. Um, if you've got the metal one, um, it already incorporates ETAS, so you don't need to worry about it. Uh, but this one's a little bit different. So, um, first thing you do is you need to take your actual TAS, so, and you line it up on the outside on the white section. So, in this case, we line up TAS with some numbers that I've got, which is 460 knots TAS, so 46 on the outside. And now our winds are going to be 240 degrees, 100 knots. So it's quite gusty, quite breezy. We'll put our dot there. Uh, in this case, I'm using the, the larger scale, the smaller numbers. So just take note which side you're on. Um, so we've got 240, 100 knots. And now we turn around to our track of 165. OK, so 460, 240, 100. Heading our uh, track is 165. We've got about 97 knots worth of crosswind and about 24 knots worth of headwind, so it's a pretty significant. I'm sure you can see that there. So, given that we've got 97 knots of crosswind, what we do is we come around the white to 97, which puts us at about 12 degrees of drift angle on the blue section. So, with the 12, we come back up to the top here, and in our TAS section, on the cosine bit, we now go to the left 12 degrees. So we can see there it says 10. If we look at 12, we're at about 200, sorry, 450 knots ETAS. So we've been reduced from 460 knots TAS to 450 knots ETAS. That's it.